Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you some Bluetooth keyboards that I purchased recently for my iPad and for my Samsung tablet. I'm just going to go through each of them and share with you my thoughts. This first one is the Logitech K380. So I purchased this from AliExpress and I'm going to share with you the link to that below. But you can get a very similar one to this from Amazon and I will share the link to that as well. So I think the one on AliExpress has the pink and the white keys, whereas on Amazon it's just the, the pink version. I was debating between the two, but I went with this one in the end just because of the, <laughs> the cute bunny and the cartoon uh, on the edge. So I found this keyboard really easy to type on. The spacing of the letters was just perfect. I could type really fast. I felt it was very comfortable for me to type and it was easy to switch on. And the reviews also mentioned that the battery life is very good, although I have yet to use it that much, so I cannot comment on that. Based on the design being really cute and the ease of use, I definitely would recommend this one. So here is the AliExpress listing of the Logitech keyboard that I purchased. I did not find this design on Amazon. On Amazon, they only had this pink one, which is why I decided to purchase it on AliExpress. The next one I'm going to unbox came from AliExpress as well, but you can also get this on Amazon. The main reason I use AliExpress over Amazon is just because of the price difference sometimes. Um, I recommend checking it out and then you can see which, which price is better for you. So this one I purchased purely because of the appearance of it. It looks really cute and the design is really nice. I like the edging around it as well. I do like the typewriter look. I've got my eye on some other typewriter keyboards actually, but those are a lot more pricey. So I think that for the price, this one is a really good typewriter style keyboard. So I did find this keyboard easy to type with as well. However, possibly due to the height of the keycaps and possibly the spacing, I found myself making slightly more errors than with the other keyboards. So I would say that this definitely wins on the looks front. However, due to functionality, I would probably dock off one point for that but it is really satisfying to type on it it does feel a bit more springy a bit more like a typewriter if you want to type really fast i probably would go with one of the other ones So here is the AliExpress listing. They also had other colors as well, which look really nice. Um, and I chose AliExpress just because of the price, but you can also get this one on Amazon as well. And they also do have different colors, including this purple. This is the other keyboard that I purchased also from AliExpress. So the best thing about this keyboard, in my opinion, is that it's rechargeable. So you can just plug your charger into there and then you don't have to use batteries with the other one. And um, on the looks front, I do prefer the other ones though, because you can see the white letters, I feel like, they don't stand out that well on the pink keys, but it, overall it does still look cute, so I'm glad I purchased this. So I found the typing on this one very comfortable as well, and considering this was much cheaper than the Logitech, I think this is pretty good value, and it's also rechargeable, and if you don't have to look down at the keys all the time, if you kind of know where your keys are, I think that the pale letters on the pink keycaps will not bother you. So yeah, I do think that this was a good buy, and I'm glad I have it in my collection. And this is the AliExpress listing of that rechargeable keyboard. They also have a battery version one. If you um, go down in their description, you can go to the battery version one, which I think is slightly cheaper, um, but I prefer to get rechargeable where possible. So I picked that version. So this is the last keyboard. I got this one on Amazon. I purchased this a while ago, so I don't have an unboxing, but this one was the cheapest out of all of them. And I think the price for this is just amazing because it works really well. And I also got it in a set that comes with this mouse. I do think that this types pretty well. So I've had this keyboard for a while now and I haven't run out of batteries yet. It is very easy to connect and to use. And I find the keys very comfortable to type with. And the price of this is also amazing. I trolled through a lot of Amazon listings and I couldn't find many other keyboards that were as highly reviewed and as cheap as this one. So I think that this is definitely a good buy if you're looking for a reasonably priced option that works very well. So this is the Amazon listing. Um, I purchased the pink one, but you can also get different colors as well. So you can see it's got tons of reviews and the feedback was pretty good. So yeah, I definitely think that this was a good purchase. And you can also get a version that comes with the mouse as well. I thought I mentioned this one quickly as well because this is the Apple Magic Keyboard. The design of this is really sleek. Compared to the Apple Magic Keyboard, I am really happy with all of my purchases because when it comes to typing, I did not find any of them um, lacking when compared to the Apple Keyboard. And I also like the design as well. And especially considering that some of them are really affordable, I am definitely happy to have them in my collection. So here is an overview of all the keyboards. You can see the Logitech is actually really small, which is amazing because it types really well. And the Avaz Keyboard is actually the biggest and I would say it types the least well, but 
but looks the prettiest in my opinion and you can see these other two are fairly similar in size and design i hope you found this video useful if you did please give me a thumbs up let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching and i'll see you next time